Good day, family. Good day. I hope you are all well. Let me first apologize about being a wall. Um, hopefully, I am back full time. Uh, work has been keeping me really, really busy, but I will try not to compromise and make this a priority. Um, so today we will be sharing from the book of Proverbs, chapter eighteen. It says, "One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin." But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. That's an ivy tree of life version. It says a man with many friends may be harmed by them. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Amplified. No? A man of too many friends chosen indiscriminately will be broken in pieces and come to ruin. But there is a true loving friend who is reliable and sticks closer than a brother. Wow. When I read from NIV and I read Amplified and the Tree Life, I was like, wow. Um, so the main thing or the yeah, the main thing, the main subject that this verse is talking about, it's about a friend. It's either you have a good friend or you have a bad friend. When I looked at a definition of a friend. It says a friend is honest and speaks from the heart with good intentions. Hmm. They tell you what you need to hear in a way that you can hear rather than gossip behind your back. A quality friend is trustworthy. Not only are your secrets safe with them, your fears, weirdness and vulnerability. Wow. That is a definition of a friend. I was like, wow, the scripture. So in my life or the people that you call your friend, we need to assess and see. Are they reliable? Will they tell me the truth even though it's unbearable? Will they tell me the truth even when I don't want to hear the truth? Will they stand up for me when I'm not there? Will they speak good about my name even when I am not there? And then I also checked the definition of, before we come back to the last part, but the definition, because if a person is not your friend, they are your enemy. So I looked at the definition of an enemy. And it says, in the Bible, my enemy is someone who does not like me someone who wants to do me harm never someone i don't like or to whom i want to do harm wow it is never someone that i don't like or someone i i would love to do harm but bona their intentions are to do you harm yo jesus doesn't want us to be like that doesn't want us to think evil of others doesn't want us to do harm to others but in fact he has said in his word the book of Matthew chapter 44 we are to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us thank you Jesus amen I have no comments after this one and then it says the second part of this verse it says but there is a true loving friend who is reliable and sticks closer than a brother that friend is jesus he will never leave you nor forsake you he will never betray you he will stick closer than any brother even when you feel weak he is there to comfort you and make you strong you'll go you'll you'll wake up in the morning and wonder how did i do it but it is because of the grace of Jesus. It is because he is a true loving friend. It is because his prayer, his intercession to the Father is to see you well, is to see you strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. Jesus, when you cannot pray for yourself, he and the Holy Spirit, they stand on your behalf and they intercede for you to get that strength. That's why sometimes we look back and we like, I don't know how I came out of that phase. I don't know how I came out of that season. It's because the Holy Spirit, who is forever faithful, was interceding for you. The angels, the ministering spirits of the living God 
were there to uplift you in moments of despair. So today's scripture is be careful about your friends. Too many friends are dangerous. Even if you have few, you must know. Assess, pray, and discern their heart's desire. Yes, we are not perfect. As I'm preaching this, I also need to assess myself. Ooh, I find myself gossiping, you know, sometimes. I find myself commenting where I'm not supposed to be commenting. Lord, help me be a good friend. Lord, help me be an honest friend. Lord, help me be a fair friend. Lord, help me walk in love regardless of what's happening around me. This is displaying the character of a friend. Lord, help me have that character as well. Help me. Help me daily. Look, assess, discern situations. Give me your ears. There's a song by Sissy Wine. I love that song. A heart like yours is my desire. Give me a heart like yours. So I pray that may the Lord of grace strengthen us in this walk of Christianity and may we strive to be like Jesus Christ and may we really take his word and assess ourselves and apply it, apply it. I think for us to walk in victory is really dependent on us applying the word of God. So have a blessed day in Jesus name. Amen.